Hey everybody, so I recorded about an hour of Metro footage and uh, Windows in its vast, vast sensibleness decided to do an update on me a couple of days ago and it unselected all of my audio devices, which meant that my hour of Metro is in complete silence. It's like a Charlie Chaplin film, but without any of the entertainment value. So that means that I've got an hour where I obviously nothing happened and because it auto saves, I can't go back and do it, which is sort of annoying. Um, luckily, kind of luckily, nothing really happens in a weird way. So I'm going to really quickly, and I mean really quickly, describe to you basically what happened. So we left uh, with Miller and Artyom in the dark. It was very spooky down there, and they continued onwards for about a good few minutes uh, through this dark tunnel. By the way, the darkness, uh, it's a bug. The torch does not work and will not work because they did not patch it. So it's just bugged. It's bugged for good. and It's kind of annoying. So everything was done in the pitch blackness, which was great. Then we ran into a kid. Like, just a random kid in, in like a friggin' sewer pipe or something. So you spend the next few minutes chasing this little asshole with the most dramatic music in the world. I was taking the piss. But then it was really funny. I'd, I'd appreciate that. And uh, after some dramatic music and kid chasing, we finally catch up with him and we get him to spill the beans. He is a uh, kid who's been living in this city with his dad. Uh, his dad went missing about four weeks ago looking for a map. A map of a clean area, which Miller goes, Aha! I will take that. So he goes, Hey, Artem, you go on to the Institute to save Anna. Uh, I'll look for this map. Uh, kid, you stay on this radio and help us. And so the kid just chills out on his little radio. Oh, there was like shooting of monsters and shit along the way. Miller gives us his little railgun, which is kind of neat, I guess. Which is quite nice. Um, so that's kind of cool. We then sort of move directly on into the world's most irritating sewer section, because it's all in the fucking pitch black. All the while, there's like spooky noises and like ghosts and shit going on. Because I think the old ones or the dark ones are starting to be coming around. Bear in mind, you can't see diddly shit because I've got no torch. There's lots of weird rat monsters everywhere. A couple of not but like sort of annoying puzzles. You know where you have to like turn a wheel, but things like keep chasing you, you know that kind of stuff. Um, and then as we move forward and forward, we go into this really horrible sewer section where you got to ride a boat through these bogies, and it looks like someone's cleaning their nose in there. And there's these weird gribblers everywhere. They're like weird sort of snake monsters. They're going through the water. That's nasty. There's kind of like weird sort of lamprey eel motherfuckers that just sort of squirt goo at you. Kind of a really annoying section, really. I, I'd go as far as saying it was filler. I kind of enjoyed it when I was playing it, to a certain extent. It was just a bit annoying. So it was just baddies. It was dark. I couldn't see anything. And we just had to kind of get through it. Uh, the next basically half an hour was that. It was going through sewers, 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 sewers. Then as we got closer to the Institute, the Dark One sort of reappeared and started making ghosts appear. Train cars full of dead people. Uh, kind of stuff like that, which was neat, I guess. Kind of came out of nowhere. If you hadn't played the previous games, which would be kind of dumb, uh, if you're, you're playing the third one in the series, I guess that's your fault, but hey, you wouldn't know what's going on. Then the game spent the next uh, 15 minutes making some really unpleasant visual effects that kind of makes you feel a bit ill. So I might be doing you a favour by skipping it. Seriously. Uh, yeah, we just make our way through the Institute at this point. You go through the Institute, we go outside briefly, we have a small flashback where we're in a tank, that was kind of weird. I think the Dark Ones are showing us flashback of what happened in the city for some reason. Ghost Anna keeps showing up, kind of like Ghost Nicole in Dead Space, even though Anna's not dead. Uh, so, you know, we're just tripping balls, I think. Weird. And slowly but surely, we make our way through the Institute. The cool bit, of course, being the bit where we run into the librarians, which is actually kind of neat. Uh, the librarians, although this time they're blind. I'm pretty sure they weren't blind before, but now they are. These ones are blind. They're like librarians, but blind. The one really cool thing that I'm super sad you won't hear, you will hear in a minute actually, because I've got to go through some ones in a minute. Oh, I laughed at one of their penises, so that was quite funny. He had a little dong. I zoomed on it. It was very good. Um, one of the things that was actually really neat was that they've got this really creepy voice that they're like going, hunt, find, kill, eat. It's like their inner thoughts being projected. They can't see anything though, they just, they just hear you, so yeah. That's kind of what we got to. Lots and lots of stealthy stuff, walking around, monkeys, motion sickness, and one very irritated Brit. Uh, who did an hour of recording with no sound. Wah, wah. It was kind of my fault for not checking, but I just expect Windows not to fuck, fuck me every single time I try and do something. But hey, in four minutes I have covered an hour of LP, and now we're going to carry on because I actually believe we're close to the end, so I actually might just finish it off. So yeah, sorry about that. Uh, that's really annoying actually, but eh, I didn't want to just post like an hour of completely silent footage, so... <laughs> Anywho, uh, we'll, we'll carry on. Woo. And so we return to the load screen. Now, if this bit doesn't work and I end up being signed again after I've tested it, I will crock and cry at this point. It's just, uh, really frustrating. Um, 
Also, the game's just getting really buggy at this point. Like, Artyom's just not narrating this bit, which he should be. He kind of started, he went, yep, and just sort of stopped, which is kind of weird. So, uh, I mean, he's now a silent, silent protagonist rather than just a weirdly silent protagonist. Uh, yeah. The actual bit playing up to this was kind of neat. It's just the whole flashing light stuff was really obnoxious. Like, I was going to have to put shitloads of, like, epilepsy warnings on the video because it was just constant flash, 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 flash. Like, the dark ones were doing their weird hallucinogenic stuff. I got to wave at a skeleton, though, so that was kind of fun. Um, yeah, the reason I actually ended up stopping because I got killed by a librarian. Or a not-librarian. A blind barian? A braille barian? A librarian who reads braille? But psychic? A psychic braille barian. Yeah, I like it. Let's, let's go with that. So the braille barian was giving me shit, and I had to turn on the uh, power here. I think I've got to go up. There he is, see? Look at him. He's got... Look at it. I can see his little wiener. Well, you can't see his little wiener. Pretend you can. Crunch, crunch. This is that gorse rifle, by the way, that I was talking about. It's very nice. See, imagine, like, tons of environments just like this one and lots and lots of crab walking, and that's kind of what the last half an hour was like. I'm only about 90% bitter that it didn't record. It's also why I don't, like, uh... That's why I actually much, much prefer having saves and not just a random auto-saves. But the game's gonna have decisions and I don't want to undo it. Yeah, that's absolutely fine, unless, of course, you'd like to do stuff like this, in which case I can't do it again. Ding. Alright. So he was over- he's over there. I kind of need him to not be over there. I don't- Last time I sort of walked a bit too close and he got a bit up to me, so I might just wait and see what happens. What's it gonna- heal. Ooh. I think there's like a radiation effect that's causing me damage. It's really weird. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh yeah, be thankful you can actually see. Oh, they're having a fight. Oh, you can go through there. Right, that makes sense. Hold up. That's bad. Can you hear me? Ooh. Uh oh. I don't know how they can hear me all of a sudden. Fuck it. Book it. Book it. Well, that worked. Yeah, so this dark, like down here. This is what the first half an hour of the set was like, and I was like, Hello? Hello, I can't see anything. Oh, I can see. Oh, it's actually behaving itself here. Like, most of the time there was like a giant orange glow in the middle of the screen that I couldn't see around. It was glorious. So, uh, thanks. I probably, I talked about it briefly before, but yeah, the sound, the, uh, the actual light is totally bugged. Like, I tried it again. Like, it's just... Oh, now it works. Fuck off. It wasn't working, and now it's decided to work again. You know what? Bollocks to you. Bollocks to you, now you work. I, I am full of rage. Full of rage. So I see. It doesn't work and I'm recording it for an hour, but the second it crashes, now it does. Whoa. I'm working on it. Go, Stana. Like, give me a break. Gets all blurry unless I look through this. Now it's not blurry anymore. Oh, hello. We're just... Just gonna... Gonna sit here and vomit for a bit. I think the radiation's getting to us is the implication. This is why I had to stop, by the way, because I was like, Bleh. Right Bleh. So nice. It's not real, doofus. Oh yeah, all these skeletons have Arna's jumper on, which is super weird. Also, this skeleton has tits. Which doesn't make any sense. Skeletons should not have boobs. Why does... whatever. Does the skeleton bleed? It does! Skeleton bleeds. Weird. That one doesn't. That was a special skeleton. For special people. Click. So we come to this lab, as you will know, to see if we can get this medicine for Anna. Oh, 10 pounds is a quick time event starts where a gorilla jumps out of me in like 3 seconds or something. Because this is like, obvious, spooky gorilla time. I'm sorry, blind barian. <laughs> I need to get that right. Conan the Blind Barrican. Sorry, he's an adventurer. Conan the Adventurer. Conan, warrior without fear. 
Oh, we found out this is a magical. Uh, this is a magical thing that cures the exact same. The exact thing that Anna has. So, yeah, look at this little deck. Ah. Uh, oh, we should, I think we need to quick time event. Do we need to quick time event? No, we're okay. No, that's fine. Quick time event allows. Oh shit! We need to quick time event. Oh god, he's got his little willy. It's coming for me. Run away! Ugh. Oh god. Oh no, now I've got a pink screen. I think you get pink screen when someone poops in your eyeballs. Did I succeed? You never can tell with these damn things. You hit E and you just take a load of damage. And hit E again. I'm hitting E again, is that, is that good? Yeah, you... Oh, I think we killed it. Oh, oh he's definitely dead now. Uh, I feel kind of sorry for him, he didn't really do anything except just try and live, you know? I swear to god, it's, it must be. Every time Archim fails and does some <laughs> shit in a cutscene, ow, my ears, take a shot, because this game is just full of cutscene. Archim, you're so bad. Oh, interestingly, the uh, the past hour of gameplay was based, was probably about half an hour of actual gameplay. The rest of it was the game doing stuff like this, where Artyom would sort of look at his hands for a bit, and it would take control away from you a lot. I think that's bad, by the way. I think that means we're in a radiation place. Beep beep. It's the middle of us. Hey, dude. I hope you picked up that kid. Oh, yeah, we found a kid. Did I mention the kid? I did mention the kid, didn't I? We found a kid. I hope we didn't leave him behind. That'd be kind of awkward. Hey, Miller, found this thing. There's no boss fights or anything. I was kind of disappointed. Stay with me. Hold on. Son. You alright? Just a minute. You'll get better now. You found it, you did. <laughs> Miller, that's for you. Oh, yeah, the, we f the kid gave us these injectables. There's only two left, Don't I think. Don't you dare die on me now. Don't even think about it. I'm not what I did for them, huh? I'm, I'm guessing we we don't we didn't die. Maybe we did. I can still hear things. It's a good sign. <laughs> no sleeping, soldier. No sleeping now. I did find you after all. <laughs> don't know how. <laughs> Stay with me, Artyom. Millie, no, you don't sound so good. Oh, we found the maps, by the way. You, you found the maps that says, We found a place that hadn't got no radiation. It's really lucky and super handy. Boy, it's lucky we found this kid, I tell you. Otherwise, we'd have been stuffed. Uh, are we good? Wake up. Wake up. Please. Oh, there's the kid. You alright? Do you know how to drive? Oh, you're alive! Alive! I thought I was all alone again. Get up! Quick! He's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. It's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... It's really not hard. Just not like this. You alive, old man? You know it's serious, we got the title screen music. Can you drive? Hooray! We're moving again. Uh you could drive by the way. Like it's not difficult. You seriously? Point stick in direction oh, you want me to do it? Look, seriously, right? I hold a W down on the keyboard. Fucking idiot. He found the map! Said that was a true hero. And that he saved us all. Oh yeah, this kid's dad went missing. That was bad times. I mean, by missing, I mean he was dead. Ooh, trap on the tree. On the way back, we got jumped by mutants. But then he shot them all. Bam! Right with you in the eyes. That's because Miller's hardcore. Then we got to the river. There were these farms and deep water. So he carried me on the shoulders. Yeah, that's what I had to deal with too, but I didn't have anyone to carry on the shoulders. I have horrible flashbacks to Metro, the other Metro game I had to carry a kid on my shoulders. It was 
Unpleasant. Where are the lights? There we go. So many cars. There's no cars here, kid. You missed that bit. That was back there. Your voice acting needs time to catch up. It's the moon. So beautiful. So many new things. Hey, kid. Who's doing the commentary tag? Me or you? Honestly. Look, I'm the one who fucked this video up, alright? It's my go. I've got to catch up and make up for things. Typical. Wouldn't be the first time I've lost an LP, but I'm kind of annoyed it's one of the last ones I'm doing. Come on. <laughs> um, go out with a whimper and all that, I guess. I cannot see anything. This car actually still works. Go on, Miller. Let's go. You're right over there. He looks. Oh, I'm I'm having a bad time. I've got the got the flashing. But yeah, see this like blinking red stuff and black. Yeah, that's been happening a lot. It's uh. I'm trying not to, but this section is quite dull. Ow. Uh oh. I can't do anything anymore. Is the car broken or? Oh, no, our team's broken. We were technically in a cutscene there, that's what I presume why you're so fucking useless. Yay! And then all three of them died of exposure. Rip. Are you alright? That's Miller's helmet. Miller, what'd you take your helmet off for? You alright? He looks worryingly dead. You're not dead, are you, over there, Miller? I think he's dead. Or he could be really asleep. That's, uh, we should probably check with, with the pulse, though. Don't want to make an assumption he's dead and he's just having a snooze. He is quite old. Wait, how did Miller take his helmet off if he died? Wasn't he asleep? Maybe he woke up to take his helmet off then died? Maybe he's still asleep? I still feel we should check. Oh no, cutscene Artyom's in control. Fuck, we're gonna explode or so Oh, here we go. Jesus, man. Get it together. It's a fucking disgrace. That sounds like a train. Wow, what are the chances we pass out here? That was lucky. Shut up. What's up, y'all? Found cure. Think Miller might be asleep, slash dead. Someone should check. Hey, guys. Wow, very ending to Blackadder in here. Hmm. That was our journey. It was a long journey. Oh wait, we're, we're moving still. Well, that's good. Someone did check on Miller, right? Please say we didn't just leave him there. It's really bugging me. I don't get how he's even alive. Artyom, can you hear me? Careful, everyone. He got irradiated badly. 
And I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The counter goes off the scale. Oh, so he's all right. Thank God for that. <sighs> Hold on, Artyom. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya. What do we do? Tell us. <sighs> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer. As long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Um. Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Artyom. <sighs> you can't go to sleep now. No, I'm in a cutscene, Art. I'm cutscene, Artyom. Oh, hey. Oh, isn't that cute? We take a walk. <laughs> Staying underground grew old. Millie, you dead. Oh, hey. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look, he's up. Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you and kids. So fight for it. Fight. Well, I'm trying, but Cutting Artyom really wants to die. Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you open that airlock at the Botanical Gardens? This place is much better. Is it? I feel you're trying to kill me. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet. Not even close. He ain't not your station. He ain't just a dead end. Not your goal. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yomak does train related chats because he does oh, trains. You're burning up. Well, I, I hope this old man's blood will do something about that, that hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> well, that'd be nice. Come on. Let's go. Alright. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality blood in that body of yours, eh? With this, uh, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, huh? Don't eat your own shoes. I don't think uh, Bounty Girl or Olga would like that very much. Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. Oh, Duke, I forgot you're in this game. In Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. Oh, yeah, Duke. Lake Baikal. Ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just... Just have to say... You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I... The old fool. I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. <gasps> Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep! He even seems to say something. It says, push E! He's burning up. Push E! This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. You were always ready, and I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. The sun kind of looks like a mushroom cloud over there. Don't die. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her. Now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. 
I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? <laughs> and the most important thing, my time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up, lead them. Just remember that I created the order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye, Commander. Time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. You're a good man, Miller. You're a good man. Hey, everyone. I'm all right now. Had had my vision. I pushed E a lot. Subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. Yay! We're okay. I'm guessing if you didn't save uh, Ali and uh, Duke, you uh, you don't have we such nice. We found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. Yay! We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. Unanimously approved. Yay. So, what would your orders be, sir? I would say we all go home. But this home seems too large for just us. You know, the colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. Metro Exodus 2, getting people to the hill, coming in 2086. Cute. Eh, it was alright. Like, I think the first two Metro games are stronger Metro games. I feel this one had a good story, actually. I enjoyed the story. Um, except for the really obvious bits where, hey, Anna's coughing a lot. Why is everyone ignoring the fact that Anna's coughing a lot? Especially after she went into that tunnel through the blue glass. Maybe we should... Maybe we should check that out earlier than, than we did, maybe. You know. Because that a little awkward. Can we skip this? Oh, we can proceed to skip credits. Any after credit scene or was... Let's have a look. Before I start yapping too much. Nice. Oh, this is the screen that I usually don't record, simply because it fucking crashes all the time. So, uh, I'm gonna make this brief before it explodes again. Metro is a solid 6, 6 out of 10. It's... it's okay. The open world thing lost its way. It lost its way with the open world thing. I feel if it kept to the more scripted stuff, it would have been a stronger game. Um, I can see why they wanted to do open world. They wanted to change it a bit. Wanted to, obviously, the exploration. Your exodus, so to speak, you know? Uh, your Odyssey, yeah. But it just didn't work super well because it wasn't that interesting to explore. The crafting system was kind of tacked on. Uh, what kept it going well was the fact that I cared about these people. I cared about uh, the people I was traveling with. I cared about Anna. I cared about Artyom, even though he was useless in cutscenes. Um, that was really strong. The story itself was good. Um, and I, because, you know, three games worth. I, I cared about these people. I, you know, and it was good. I feel there's a lot of loose ends that feel just sort of goes ee, like like kind of uh, the dark ones. They were showing up a bit at the end, kind of. You guys missed that a little bit. There wasn't much of it. They were kind of waving skeletons at me. That was either that or Artyom was tripping balls. Because I think I think it's based after one of the endings where Artyom nukes them or something. I forget. It's weird, but uh, yeah, it was a solid, solid, uh, solid, slightly above average game. It wasn't uh, wasn't incredible by any stretch, but I enjoyed myself, for the most part, even though I did bitch a bit. It was good. And with that, Metro done. And, uh, 
Oh, one of the final LPs done. Spooky. And with that, thanks for watching, everyone. Catch you all again.